Hey everyone, this is Vic. I'm back with a quick tutorial. Um, been a while, but been kind of busy. So anyway, I wanted to quickly show you on how to uh, break apart an object uh, rather quickly. Um, let's say you have a cube that you want it to have access to the individual faces, or this could be a sphere or wh whatever, you know, platonic solid. But you wanted to add maybe a buffer or a mat to each one of these faces because you're animating it. So uh, let's say this face here, let's get this guy on the side. So we're going to animate this guy, bring 40, we're going to move it out. So this is kind of like your, you know, really cheesy animation, but you know, you want it to bring this into After Effects. You want these to have individual buffers. As you can see, I added some uh, compositing text to, uh, so you can go in here and add buffers. Each one of these faces has its own buffer, its own mat. Okay, and you want it to extract the uh, null information. That way, you can apply something to this in After Effects. So you know you, you basically need to break this apart real quick. So the easiest way to do that, let me uh, get rid of this cube here, is to let's say again for example we have a cube, and you're doing some cool animation to this, and you want to break this apart. So right now it's parametric. You want to, you need to change this, uh, convert this to a polygon object. So go up here, click on this icon. Uh, so, or press C on the keyboard, and that's going to convert it into a polygon. So now we need to go in, in order to uh, break these apart, first we need to disconnect the individual faces. So go up to select the faces first, so let me select my rectangular selection tool. Make sure that um, this, this is on by default, only select visible elements. Turn that off, that way the entire thing can be selected. So we can just confirm that, yep, everything's selected. So now we go to commands, go to disconnect, click on the gear here, and make sure that this is off. Here it's on by default. Click that off, and that's going to disconnect the faces. Now, nothing's happened yet. That's because we now need to go up to mesh, conversion, and uh, select or click on polygon groups to objects. Now that has uh, broken this up into pieces. So just make sure, like I said, you uh, do this first step, which is disconnect, go into the gear. If you don't do that, this isn't going to work. And then go to conversion, polygon groups to uh, objects. All right, so we have this. We can uh, get rid of this top one just to select the the, the objects inside the, the top uh, null cube or whatever that is, and uh, drag those out, kill that top one. So now we have all of these. So let's confirm what we did here, make sure that we definitely have pieces. Get out of a uh, face mode, go into your your model mode here. As you can see, they are indeed broken apart. So now the thing is, is that um, the one other thing is that all these are axes. These are centered in the center at zero zero zero. So uh, you know, if you wanted to bring something like this out to uh, After Effects, as you want to apply a video or a picture to this because you animated it, make sure to center these to the center of the face. So the way you do that, you go to you can select them all. Let me just select them all first. And go to Mesh, Axis Center, and then click on Center Axis 2. Alright, as you can see now, all of these have jumped to the center of the face. So now you would go in here and uh, you know, let's do a quick uh, little animation. Again, this is going to be really cheesy and quick. Select that, go to frame 34, and bring that out. And let's see here, the number five, let's start at five or six, and I'm just going to do two of these. I'm not going to waste your time watching me do this. All right, so let's say this is our animation. Now we can uh, grab, extract that uh, null information, right? You want to go to uh, select both of these, and you want to add an external compositing tag. All right, so that's going to be your, your null information. And then you can also, since these are now separated, you can add your compositing tag. You can do it to each one of these. I'm just going to do two. But for this one cube, cube number six side, number six, we can uh, go to the compositing tag. Oops. Go here. Let's make that buffer number one. And then for the next one, let's make that buffer number two. And then when you set this up, you know, of course, in a uh, 
uh, in your render settings, you know, you're going to make a pass for each one of those cubes. You know, uh, go to multi pass, go to object, and now you have group one. That's going to uh, correspond to buffer one. Make another one for your next buffer. Make that number two. And you know, again, make six of those or whatever object you have. And you now, once you render this out, you'll have a pass for each one of your sides and you'll have also your uh, null information using these uh, external compositing tags. Um, I won't go into that but that's like I said you'll be able to extract that using uh, once you're uh, uh, ready to have that information extracted you just go to compositing project file down here under your save settings and then you can extract your uh, 3D data information and bring that into After Effects. There's other tutorials on how to do that so uh, um, so yeah, that's about it. That's a quick way to how to uh, break an object apart um, if you need to do that. I uh, hope this helps someone, um, anyone, and uh, yeah, thanks a lot guys. Thanks for listening and have a good one.